So let's find the equation for the line tangent to the curve y equals e to the negative x squared at the point 1 comma e, uh, excuse me, 1 comma 1 over e. So remember when we make an equation for a tangent line, basically we need a slope and a point. And usually we'll use that point slope form uh, to create our equation. So we need y minus y1 equals uh, the slope m times the quantity x minus x1. And that's from algebra 1. Now we already have some information given to us. We know that x1 equals 1 and y1 is 1 over e. That's given here. So that's two-thirds of the battle. The only other thing we need is the slope. And from calculus we know that the slope can be found by taking the derivative and plugging in uh, our point 1. So we're going to find the derivative and plug in 1 and then we'll know the slope. So the derivative for e to the negative x squared, uh, we're going to use the chain rule. y prime is uh, e to the negative x squared times the derivative of negative x squared which is negative 2x. And so if we clean that up a little bit, uh, our derivative is negative 2x over e to the x squared. Now we're going to plug in a 1 into this equation. So for us, we would end up with negative 2 on top, and on the bottom we get e to the 1 squared, which is just e, the denominator. I said top and bottom, but I meant numerator and denominator. So I plugged 1 in for x here, and I ended up with negative 2 over e. Okay, so let's put this all together and make an equation on the next screen. So let's just jot down what we know again. We know that the slope is negative 2 over e. We calculated that, and we were given x1 equals 1 uh, and y1 equals 1 over e. So now we can create our equation. We do y minus 1 over e, because that's our y1, equals m, which is negative 2 over e, times the quantity x minus 1. And then typically what we'll do is we'll solve for y to get this in slope-intercept form. So first thing I'll do is distribute the negative 2 over e. So I have y minus 1 over e equals negative 2x over e plus 2 over e. Because negative 2 over e times negative 1 is positive 2 over e. And then we will add 1 over e to both sides. Normally that would be a little weird, but I think it's pretty obvious that 2 over e plus 1 over e is 3 over e. So our final... Uh, equation uh, negative 2 x over e plus 3 over e and that'll be the slope or excuse me that'll be the equation uh, for the tangent line which hits our curve at the point 1 uh, 1 over e so now let's take a look at the graph of this situation and see if it backs up our calculations I plugged in all of our information into the Desmos graphing calculator and you can see here that it supports the calculations we made. The red curve right here is our original function e to the negative x squared. The blue dot over here that's the point 1 comma 1 over e and you can see it is on the curve. And then finally the green line is our tangent line and notice it does bump up to our curve right at that point one comma e and if you really just focus on this part of the graph it's a little clearer that that green line is the tangent line so it looks like we did our math correctly uh, please use this technique if you need to find the equation uh, of a tangent line to a curve at a point good luck